Happy Halloween, viewers. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really dress up. All I did is put on a little bit of a... A little bit of a violet eyeshadow, which is unusual. But I figure, like, with all the colors and stuff like that, because I hardly ever wear really colored eyeshadow, uh, I figured just today I'd wear it just because I like, like the black um, with it. It's like something very pretty and sexy and uh, um, what you might call it, exotic. Like, it's very fall, very fall to wear violet eyeshadow because I'll be honest with you. I usually hate wearing makeup <laughs> unless it's really natural looking. Like every once in a while, like you know, like just 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 for a change for my own, uh, just for my own visual, like for, for my own memory. Uh, you know, in case some size spy wants to want to chat, <laughs> at least I like I like like a little color now and then because uh, usually I very wear very light. And neutral colors, just because I'm a, I'm a, I wear a lot of nudes and stuff like that. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, see how well the pun pumpkin goes with it. It goes like really good with the black. Cause that. Oh my gosh, daylight savings tomorrow. My reminder popped up. That's what that was. Okay. And once again, I haven't combed my hair because you know I'm a bedhead kind of girl. Um. Uh, oh yeah, for the past couple of days I've been eating like Butterfingers and uh, I like Butterfingers this time of year just because it's like, it's like flaky and um, it's chocolatey. And, but the only thing I don't like about Butterfingers is when you chew on them it like flattens out like, like taffy, like, you know what I mean? So it tastes, it's like really good, but it's like when you have it on your teeth, it feels so gross because it's like, it feels like your teeth are loose. It feels really weird. Uh, it's like having a big old mask, like literally like over your tooth. Like uh, it's a very, very gross feeling. Um, I've been like on the seafood diet, not the seafood, but a seaweed diet, I'm sorry, for the past couple days. So I've been eating like nothing but um, like seaweed and white rice. And I'll like put some soy sauce on it, like a little bit of soy sauce. So that's what I've been eating. And it's working. I'm like, it, it helps you tone up faster. Um, so it's like, I like for just for my own conscience, I know I can't eat, see, like I can't eat tuna every day just because I don't like the fact that an animal died. I'm like trying to cut back. It's not even my carbon footprint because I don't believe in that. I think that's a load of. Uh, um, New World Order BS. I think that's like it's Antichrist crap. <laughs> because I don't think Jesus was a vegetarian. I don't think his mom was. And I, I'm mostly a vegetarian, but I can't say I'm like 100% because you gotta have meat. So <clears throat> I've been doing that. And um, I've been doing facial yoga. So um, it's actually like toning up. Not that I had a problem, but it's like toning my face up more, which is nice. And like my under eyes and stuff like that are toning up. <laughs> because I'm all about like undoing stress and natural anti-aging with very minimal effort. So I think at this point in my life, I can grow into my, uh, my, my wrinkles. Not that I have many, I have like, I think like when I don't, when it's not there, but I have like an expression line like right there and like right here, I'm starting to get one, but I don't have any around my eyes. Like my eyes aren't really, and I'm not, these are like getting deeper, but that's just because I'm, you know, like, the stretches I'm doing, it's like these, like, make the nasolabial area a little bit deeper. But, um, Chanel, um, actually had a really good, I thought, I saw this thing back in, was it 2006? Uh, something like that, where Chanel had a kit, and it was like a face cream and eye cream, um, and like a resurfacing thing too. Um, I think it was like $300 for the kit, like 400, something like that. Um, and it had a facial yoga uh, thing. So facial yoga does work. Um, there's a lot of people that do it. And uh, when you work in, a, in like a, a business where your face is shown a lot, 
You know what I mean? Or like, you know, you're going to emphasize the face. Or like, get up in your mug. Get all up in your grill. <laughs> it's like you want to do things that aren't going to have you, you know, like looking like, uh, kind of like Frankenstein or scary. So, <laughs> so yeah, you want to make sure, like, you want to get the teeth a little bit wider. Because I just started bleaching my teeth like seven years ago. Um, and they gotten, they're, this is as white as they're going to get naturally. So, I don't... No, you can like, I'm not trying to like be weird, but like, see what I mean? This is like, there's some natural yellow to them. So it's like, I don't know, like with my undertones, my natural undertones are yellowish. Um, everybody has different, it's usually blue or yellow. So mine are yellow. So um, like an ivory, pale ivory. I'm pretty low on the scale, the, the the whitening skill, but uh, I use like really strong peroxide. Um, I don't play around when it comes to my teeth, but I don't bleach in every day either. Some days I'll go like maybe like maybe like a week without bleaching. Um, another weeks I'll bleach like three times a day. It just depends on it. Just depends on how much time I have. Um, and it also has like bleaching has health benefits too. Um, it cuts back on like plaque, right? Like literally, like, like eats the plaque off your teeth, um, because you know bleach is like oh, like it's mildly corrosive and don't destroy your teeth. Like if you use the right kind, that's why you're supposed to use a peroxide, not like some some have like lemon juice and vinegar in it. Don't use those. Um, so you got to be careful with it. It can cut back on your um, gingivitis if you have gingivitis. I don't have gin gingivitis. I've never had it really. Uh, so it's like my gums are really healthy. And I think the last time I had a cavity was like, oh my God, like 20 years ago, something like that. 17 years ago, that's a long time. So I've only had two cavities in my entire life. Um, what else? Uh, um, it's good for your tongue, like your taste buds. Uh, it like bubbles the the like the bacteria in the accumulation of plaque and whatever that stuff is that comes up out of your, your digestive tract on your tongue, like from your, your epiglottis and your esophagus and all that. So I use an Ayurvedic tongue scraper too. It's made out of surgical steel. It's great. I love it. Um, I use that like once a day, pretty much every day. Unless I'm like really, really sick and I don't brush my teeth like I'm puking or something. I like use it like once a day, at least once a day. Um, and after a while, if you don't use it, you really start to notice, like, when you don't use it because, like, the dead skin cells and, like, the, the fat that your body digests, um, naturally has a tendency of coming up out of your throat. So it's gross because, like, you scrape it and it looks like, um, uh, tofu on your tongue scraper. <laughs> it's pretty gross, but it's also kind of cool. So, um, I've used the plastic ones. The plastic ones, mm, they're not very good. I don't like the plastic tongue scrapers because they crack and they just can't scrape like the surgical steel ones can. Um, what else? Who else? Who else? Um, hmm. uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like get any trick or treaters. I really don't want to pass out candy, but uh, I was like. Praying for guidance, so God was like, just get candy just in case. So, uh, I had some pretty nice dreams this morning. Uh, I actually like had a dream about um, Jesus, and uh, it was pretty good. Um, but it's like when I have a lot of dreams, like I feel angels watching over me. Like in the dark. Um, I'm very keen on presences, like the, the negative or positive energy in the room. Whether I'm nervous or getting um, thought projections in my mind. Because um, I think we're living in the final days. We get a little bit closer every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? For the you uh, true believers out there. Uh, what else? Uh, 
my exercise routine and my is coming along nice. Um, my arms are really nicely toned. I'm really happy with my arms. I think I can get them a little more toned. Um, but I don't want to look too bizarre, like have really ripped arms. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, eventually, I'm going to make an appointment and get my breast implants, these big ones, taken out. Um, whether or not I'll have small ones put in, I'm not sure because my breasts are still perky. Um, and they don't sag. Um, that might be a little too much information for some of you, but, um, I don't know. It's like, unless I get like cancer or something, I don't think I would have them put back in. Um, I might even go a little smaller. Um, like, I'm talking like down to 300s, 400s. I was thinking bigger, but I really don't want to uh, look like I have implants. I could just wear a pad and bra. You know what I mean? And honestly, there's like not too much difference as a as um as a designer for someone who has like Victoria's Secret and Walmart. <laughs> I mean, there there could be a little bit of difference, but like a lot of stuff from Walmart is like super cheap, and um, and it's like a fix, and it's not that bad. Like a t-shirt bra, they're not that bad. Um, cause not everybody likes like a lot of padding and push up. I personally, um, I need a padded bra, but not much if I have my breast implants removed. Um, just like a tiny little bit of padding, you know, kind of like, um, like a, like a small, moderately padded push up bra, just cause of the, uh, the volume displacement. Cause that happens with everybody. Um, in fact, I think it's worse if you have large breasts and you've had a breast uh, enhancement because the skin, it just like it spreads out, it spreads out more and it's more rippled and um, with smaller breasts when you have the breast implants taken out, um, it's just like they're not as noticeable and in some cases you can't even really tell. So, uh, and I have a tiny rib cage anyway, which is good. Um, that's the thing now. People are like, like women don't want breast implants anymore, like most women. So it's kind of like wore itself out the fad. Uh, were they worth it? A little bit. A little bit. Back when I hadn't done the first time they were. Um, the second time it wasn't worth it. Um... Because a lot of people say, I regret not going bigger. I regret not going bigger. I would rather not even think about it. <laughs> I have boobs that are healthy because it's like, that's, and that's what matters. And uh, I don't want fake boobs. I don't want them anymore. So it's uh, just, it was like a fashion thing. It's like, mm, when you're young and dumb and, you know, the world is at war, and it's like a little bit different. But uh, I don't need breast implants. I'm gonna lose them tomorrow, I can have them taken out tomorrow. And I uh, wouldn't care. I could be a 34A and I wouldn't really be bothered by it. Because it's, I still got boobs and I'm still a girl, and I still uh, have my, my health, my figure, and um, Mm. I'm glad that I'm not like worried about my uh, my past or my or my you know having stuff done or my face or tanning or uh, doing things that would make me happy. Like a lot of girls have problems with that. Um, for some of us, it gets better as you get older, and some of us it don't. I can't really say I'm surprised by the uh, drop in marriage. I think the big thing now for a lot of us is um, kind of living the life when we get home. It's a bit hermetic. It's not unhealthy. Um, but I have Jesus in my life. Um, I like my alone time with Jesus. I like my... Uh, 
I like my, um, the sanctity of my home. I like a quiet house. I don't, I don't really think I'm going to get any pets at any point. Um, I had cats before. I've had uh, beta fish, things like that. Um, I don't really think I'm going to do that. So I might get like an African violet or something for my my house at some point if I find a nice uh, potter with one in there. Um, but as far as having fish and stuff like beta and stuff like that, I'm not going to do that. And besides, like, really weird, because, like, sometimes um, in some apartments, like, if you don't pay a pet deposit, you can't have a beta fish. It's really weird, because I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking, like, you know, like, the old, like, the, the Japanese vase um, beta fish. Those are so beautiful. So, like, if somebody gave you that, like, what are you going to do? It's like, you can't even keep them in your house. Like, they'll, like, charge you or kick you out or give you 30 notes. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you gotta be careful with everything nowadays. If it breeze moves or loves, you know, you gotta you gotta pay a deposit. So give me that that bling, that you know, that stupid that um money god. <laughs> so uh, it's bleh. it's black. So um I was thinking like maybe for Halloween I'll like because I got like some some tattoos. Like some of those, those tattoos, because I got a thing of fake blood. Maybe I'll just be like a dead fairy for <laughs> Halloween, because that's kind of like a joke. <laughs> kind of like, you know, like, um, I was thinking like earlier as a joke, like a dead Jiminy Cricket for Halloween for someone, uh, because it's like their conscience. Because <laughs> so many people's consciences are like dead. It's like, I was like, like put a bullet all the blood out of a dead Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> you know, because everybody wants to be a zombie now, so, except for me. I don't like, um, I wouldn't, I don't like dressing like a zombie. I'm a survivor, so I can't really identify with a rotting body that's cursed and comes back to life. So that's like, that's a little too close to the apocalypse for me. You know, it's a little too close to, um, the trib, to the trib. So I don't want to do that. I'm more of like, um, Ada Wong type, Resident Evil survivor type, uh, person. I'm not, I'm not, um, a zombie. Quite rebellious. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, have a happy Halloween and uh, don't eat too much candy. It's bad for your smile. Bye.